Hello, I'm Mark Shawlaus, and because things on the internet seem to lose their date reference, today is Friday, October 20th, 2023. On Wednesday, September 13th, 2023, uh, we are in Heber Valley, Utah. We were there for the Heber Valley Railroad. Uh, we got there be well before uh, the train schedule. We asked the attendant at the train station uh, what sites were were seeable in the area uh, to fill up the probably the hour and a half two hours that we had uh, waiting for the train and one of them was uh, go over see Memorial Hill in Midway Utah and this is uh, the, the video of that trip and it's probably the shortest of the videos but uh, this was and and emotional trip uh, an emotional visit uh, because of the subject matter and it was um, beautifully done uh, by the people of Utah for those who serve their country so let's get on with the video Google Earth knew where Memorial Hill was we left the Heber Valley Railroad uh, facility and headed that way. And we found the entrance, nice entrance, didn't quite know what to expect. Uh, this flag view is a flag view of us uh, actually going past it after visiting another site. Uh, it was just, you know, it's one of those places you, you just look and we got this photo of the flags in silhouette against a stormy sky it was more than appropriate day to go there and this is a photo of our gps as we were going up the hill um, I, I looked at it laughed and told joyce you know take a photo of it these two photos are from google earth and uh, one of them is in 3d one of them is directly overhead so you see the, um, the the road you have to drive to the top. At that point, I was giggling. This is the structure at the top of the hill. And on the very center, that six-sided, that hex, uh, hexagon structure, uh, there's uh, plaques. And these plaques go back to, as I'm going to read them, uh, the Walker uh, War. Uh, Walker, um, the... the uh, Echo War, the Black Hawk War, and then steps off into the War of 1812, and then it steps off into the World War One, World War Two, several plaques, several uh, presentations for World War Two, and uh, it's interesting that in the bottom of uh, the fourth presentation, I believe it is for World War Two, they have the World War Two killed in action. So these are evidently the names of people who have served, not the people who who uh, were killed in action. Uh, then we go off to the Korean War, Vietnam War, and uh, come up with the uh, more recent events. Uh, the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis list in there, Granada Invasion, Panama Invasion, uh, Desert Storm, the Persian Gulf uh, War Operations, Desert Storm, and then stepping off into the war against terrorism. So, um, quite honestly, um, this place had me um, rolled back. Um, it's and, and the presentation of the plaques isn't going to be in sync with the with the narration. Um, this place just had me rolled back. Um, Midway, Utah, did this for their individuals that served. There was no requirement for them to do it. But they took a natural structure and and really created it into something special. We're on top of Memorial Hill. Uh, I'm looking, I believe, uh, southeast. And this ridge line in the very center, I just happened to have been told this somewhere along the line, realized that it was there. This ridge line that you see uh, literally dead center of the photograph is referred to as something like the sleeping maiden ridge line. Her head is to the left, uh, her feet are off to the right, and uh, it's one of those uh, sites and it was brought out when we were on the Heber Valley Railroad. 
We didn't take any pictures on the way up. We're Once we on got up to the top, Memorial I took this Hill panoramic uh, photo, and uh, this is the area Utah, around uh, Midway, Utah. Something and like 60 miles east of Salt Lake City, and probably 20 miles south. And it's a drizzly day. And we are here for the Heber Valley Railroad, which we were told was a good size. A rather emotional um, trip to the top. Here are some still photos of uh, the area around Memorial Hill. And one of the things I, I became aware of is I'm looking around here. There is absolutely nothing around this area tagged. No graffiti, no litter, no trash just really clean, uh, pristine presentation. Not sure what formed this, but here was uh, the smoke or dust whirlwind um, out to the due south of Memorial Hill. And uh, we watched it for probably three or four minutes, uh, focused on it, and it, 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 you could see some movement in it. It wasn't dying down, wasn't increasing. Looked like it was a long-term event. As I said, we didn't take any photos on the way up the hill. Uh, we were looking around the curves, making sure we didn't uh, come head on with anybody. And on the way down, uh, we we passed this woman who we passed on the way up. We talked to her on the way up. We stopped. And uh, she walked up this hill and down this hill. Uh, she's pushing a uh, baby and a baby stroller. In our delayed time, because we had the time uh, when we got to Heber Valley uh, and we asked where to go, uh, we were directed over to Memorial Hill and to the uh, spring, Mer Mineral Springs, Crater Springs, uh, and we took these photos on the way back to Heber Valley. I will tell you that this was probably one of the most emotional um, events on our entire vacation uh, because of the way it was done, uh, the people it was done for, the quality of it it was beautiful it was it uh, and it was on an appropriate day it was a uh, rainy dreary day uh, at time of day when we got up there later on in the day it would clear up so it's totally appropriate if I get back into Heber Valley uh, near Midway uh, we'll, we'll visit this again this was this was totally enjoyable and and appreciated